last one. Doing the math on calories out, calories in, we, sh we both should have lost a lot more weight than we did. And you got to find out if doing too much, I mean, hell, you're burning 10,000 calories a day, mm -hmm. and then it's still not working. Yeah. So we have to find out if you can overdo it, what's happening there. Last night, my dad and I fell below the yellow line for the second week in a row, and um, Joelle and Carla went home. Joelle, Carla, I'm sorry to tell you, you have been eliminated from this game. It sucks seeing Carla go home, and it's really unfortunate that she had a teammate that really dragged her down. But I'm relieved I got to stay. It's frustrating, you know, I mean, we got lucky we didn't go home. And, uh, you know, we're kind of lucky we were up against who we were up against, because if it was anybody else, we might have went home. That's true. You know, going into this week, Mike and I just need to sit down with Bob and find out what we're doing wrong. I mean, we thought we were doing everything right. Only losing four pounds just isn't acceptable in this house. It isn't going to get you anywhere. I'm your future. I know. And just look at me. I'm 50 years old and can hardly walk. And I don't want that to happen to you. And you don't want that to happen to you. I know. That's why we're here. And then you got to go home and get cram it into Max. And that's not going to be easy. My dad and I both want to be here for my brother. I mean, he's just as overweight as I am. He's 16 years old, and uh, we really want to get this weight thing under control so we can go back to him and, you know, help him out, too. All right, come on, let's go. Uh, you can get my back. You got oh, man. Hey. 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 How are you? Hi, ladies. Hi. Every time Allison walks into the house, you never know what to expect, and this time was no different. This isn't good, ever. Yeah. Everyone, I need you to follow me. We're going outside. Yeah. Right this way. Really? So we go outside, and we just see these blocks by the pool. And I'm thinking, is this a swimming challenge? This can't be swimming. We're not even in our bathing suits. Welcome to your first ever pop challenge. <sighs> pop what? Challenge? Did you say challenge? I've never heard of a pop challenge before. I was never quite good at pop quizzes in school, so I'm a little worried. So here's how it's going to work. You each are going to stand on a block on one foot. The question becomes, how long can you hold it? All you have to do is be the last person to put your foot down, and you win. Before I actually got up there and stood on a foot, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to be standing there for hours. You know, I'm going to have to pee. What, how are they going to do this? It's pretty straightforward, right? But of course, like everything else, there is something worth winning at the end of this. I'm sure it's something you all want. Believe me, I can understand how hard it is to be here on campus, how lonely it can get. So as a reward, the person who wins today's challenge gets to reconnect with someone they love for 24 hours here on campus. biggest prize ever because you're not going home. Home is coming to you. And unless you're here, The Biggest Loser, you have no idea what it's like here. So to be able to share a piece of what you've been experiencing with somebody that you love so dearly, like, it doesn't get any better than that. As soon as Allison said um, that we could invite a loved one here, I think half the people in the house just broke down. Mandy, I can't help but notice your reaction. 
just to see my husband, it would be awesome. I'm definitely wanting this more right now than I've wanted anything so far. My husband was really weary about me coming. He didn't understand why I needed to do it. And so I think I really need this to show him that I'm here for not just me, but for him and the boys. Felipe, we've talked about your wife and your family before and how motivated you are to be here for them. What would a prize like this mean to you? Oh, it mean everything to me. There hasn't been a day that hasn't gone by that I haven't thought about her. She's my biggest fan, and so just to have her here with me would mean everything. All right, everybody, step up on your block. Give me a second to balance. This game starts now. First one out is Ron, the Brown team. Ron, come on over here, stand with me. Everyone else finding their balance, they are holding on. Mike is out. Brown team gives it a shot, but gives up. Laura struggles for balance. Kristen is out of this game. Three people down right off the top. My heart is aching, and I'm so sad that I did not, that I was not able to bring my husband, Nick, here. I, I really would have liked to have won this prize, because for Nick to see me, to see how good I'm doing, to say he's proud of me, I think that would just add fuel to my fire. There are a couple people here who seem completely steady, and it is not you, Tara. It's a lot harder than you think it is. Like, a lot harder. I thought it was going to be really easy, and then I would just be able to hold my balance. I was actually really struggling. Shannon's struggling to find her balance. Go in the pool, Tara. <laughs> Maybe later, Mom. Everyone likes to talk to me. Let's hear it, people. Come on, where Tara, is it? Tara, I Watch hope you mouth. win. Shut up, Tara. Breaking everyone else's concentration, huh? It's all about concentration. You have it or you don't have it. Oop. Dane steps off. Tara looking for lots of different ways to pose. Keep it interesting. <laughs> no. All right, Tara! <laughs> Hold on to it, Shannon. Tara, stop! <laughs> Come over here, Tara. Here's the exit. No. And Kathy is out. People started dropping like flies. My heart started beating, and I'm like, God, do you think I have a chance? You know, maybe I have a chance at this. I just ruined my seat because I'm really pissed. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> no! Mom, I'm sorry. Oh. Shannon and Helen. The pink team is out. Right now, we're looking at Blaine representing black, Laura representing green, two women on yellow completely focused. And the blue team hasn't moved a muscle. We've only been at this for five minutes, and already you've cleared out most of the competition. It seemed like about a half hour had gone by, and I just remember thinking, like, five minutes? I mean, if you look down at my ankle, it just was shaking. Remember, you are playing for 24 hours with a loved one. Sione shaking things up, trying to find another way to hold on. Laura starting to wobble. And every muscle in your foot is in play here, helping you keep your balance. Ugh. Laura gives up. is out. This is the final four. We've got Blaine, Aubrey, Mandy, and Felipe all fighting for a reward they want. It's an important reward, an emotional reward. Felipe, starting to wobble. I just have to focus, not on my pain, just focus on balancing. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I, I would win this prize.
complain. Struggling to find his balance. Just a little bit of pain, just for a few minutes. It's just pain, just gotta get through it. I wanna win this challenge pretty bad. Your foot is on fire, you're burning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so close to seeing my husband. What happens if I fall? Like, I can't last much longer. Felipe, don't fall. Coming up, who will push through the pain to win 24 hours with a loved one? And later, the contestants face off in an endurance challenge that truly raises the bar. It has been four hours. This is absolutely insane. This is the final four. We've got Blaine, Aubrey, Mandy, and Felipe. Remember, you are playing for 24 hours with a loved one. My leg's shaking. I'm feeling the nerves coming on, but I'll keep my balance. And then um, Mandy says something to me. Felipe, oh, let me see Felipe my husband, please. It was kind of a bad thing to do, because I know Felipe really misses his wife. But at the same time, like I feel like I need my husband more right now. In my heart, I know it's the right thing to do. So I, I stepped off. Felipe is out. Did that for you. Thank you. Got some parting words for Mandy. We've been at this for over 10 minutes, and it is down to the final three. No. 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 Blaine judging the competition. Mandy getting close. Blaine. I'm like, okay, you know, there's three people here. And then the mental game starts playing, and I'm like, these guys will want me to have this. Like, they won't take this away from me. Please, Blaine. Blaine, give it up for him. Come on, Blaine. Aubrey. What? Will you let Mandy have it? Of course. Okay. A little negotiation, and Blaine gives up with the agreement that Aubrey will, and that means Mandy has won this challenge. That was a tough decision for me, because I really wanted to win. But I was just home a few weeks ago having the baby, and I know how much she's really missed her family and, and uh, how much that would mean to her. There's no way I could take that from her, and so I stepped off. It just goes to show that friendship's worth a lot, and it made me feel good to know that they would give up their chance of seeing their family for me. I want to thank you guys. You have won 24 hours with your husband. Congratulations. Thank you. Reality set in that I am actually going to get to see my husband. It was the best feeling in the world. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, after that weigh-in last night, I'm not surprised to see the Brown team. That was a crazy, crazy weigh-in. Look, there's the bottom line. When it comes to this house, one person does not make a team. And it's obvious right here. That team just didn't work. It did not work. But now, with Brown team, being two weeks below the yellow line, two weeks below the yellow line. Something has got to change this week. Brown team, like, we want you here so bad. And um, of course, you know, we voted to keep you here, but I think the last two weeks you're below the yellow line, there were some obvious people that were going home. And um, don't put us in that situation again, because we don't want to be there. The stakes for my dad and I this week are the highest they've ever been. We fall below again, people will just say, you know, they're not trying hard enough and send us home. All right, everyone, go to the gym. Brown team hangs back. I want to talk to them for a few minutes, and we'll meet you up for the workout. My Brown team has been below the yellow line two weeks in a row, and I know they're exercising. I know what they're doing. It's got to be their diet. These guys as big as they are, are not eating nearly enough. You're doing your calorie burn. I see it. I see your burn. 
but you're not feeding the body the way that it needs to be fed. That is the bottom line. When you make that one change, you will see a change on the scale. You know, I'm really not meeting my calories every day. I'm still in the mindset of eat less, burn more, you'll lose more weight. And he said, you know, your body needs that energy, your body needs the food. You're not being at your full potential because you're still thinking, I'm gonna eat less. I'm gonna eat less because I know I'll burn more. How's that worked for you for the past two weeks? Been below the yellow line. Been so. below the yellow line. So now are you ready Not to well. make are you ready to make the difference? Are you ready to make that change? Stop thinking and eating more. That's right. Mikey is 18 years old. This guy could be dropping weight like this if his metabolism is kicked in. It's not. You've got to eat more. Okay? That's a huge mental thing for me. Right. Little, and you're here to do that I'll now. Break it. I'll break it. No, you have to break it because if you don't break it, you'll be below the yellow line again. Enough of the talk. Let's have action. Ron has a bad knee that's holding him back. So in order for me to save the Brown team, I'm going to have to focus on Mikey and get as many pounds off of him as I can. Let's go work out. Let's get this Brown team back to being the threats that they need to be. Let's go. OK. OK, so listen. So she won. So I won a pop challenge. 24 hours with my husband to be here at the ranch. This is going to be good for me. Before Mandy and I came to the ranch, Rusty's excitement and support for Mandy being here was questionable. Why are you having that face? Tell me what you're yeah, thinking. Yeah, well, what's, what's your concern? OK. I, I, I think that if anybody to win this, you are the last person that I, I would have liked to have seen win it. Why? I question if you have enough autonomy at this point to deal with a conflict. This might not go perfectly. I wonder if this might make you homesick. I wonder if this might make you guilty. I wonder if this might sabotage you in certain ways. Mandy's already expressed to me that she has issues about feeling guilty and selfish about being here and that her husband isn't thrilled about the whole process. And I just think it could be dangerous for her right now. In, in certain instances, spouses will have this unspoken pact of, OK, you're going to be overweight, and you're going to be unhealthy, and I'm going to love you anyway, and then, then I'm not going to be threatened that you're going to leave me, and this is the agreement we have. This is a pivotal, life-changing experience in which they're not really a part of. And you will try to bring them in and try to explain, and some of them will get with the program quick and jump on the bandwagon, and others will really struggle with it. I am just going to have to tell him, this is going to be the new me, you know? I am not going to, you know, just live my life being ho-hum anymore. Like, I already feel so much stronger than I did, and I, you know, I love it. And I know I'll be able to say, I'm sorry you're not feeling the same way I am, and I hopefully by the time I get home and you realize that it was good for both of us, but I can't change his mind right this second. I know that. Try eating about 85% of your meals at home. Research shows that you're more likely to overeat and consume more calories when you eat at restaurants. So eating at home or pre-preparing your meals at home will not only save you calories, but also money. Take a deep breath. Inhale your arms all the way up. Exhale, prayer position to the front. Again, take a deep breath. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Step back into a downward dog position. Oh, I love doing yoga with my team. It is one of the best workouts. It's something that you can do anywhere and everywhere. All you need is about uh, six feet long and three feet wide, and you're going to get a workout like you've never done before. Drop the leg down. Come up, stand up tall. Bob is a very spiritual person, and yoga is very important to him. He takes you up to such a high intensity level, and yoga is something that can kind of calm yourself down and relax and get really in touch and in tune with your body. Twisting triangle, take your left hand down to the foot and bring your right arm up. Hold twisting triangle. In this house, you've got to be mentally focused when it comes to challenges, when it comes to the pressure that you feel before a weigh-in. The more mental strength and the more mental conditioning that you have, the more you're able to deal with those little twists that life's going to throw out at you. 
Nice. Yoga might look easy, but you know what? If you look at us while we're doing yoga, the majority of us are sweating. It's not easy, but I can tell you it's definitely worth it. You're gliding through perfectly. It brings you back the focus of why you're here and also to be one with your body. Excellent tree pose, Helen. Good job, Pink. Nice, Mike. Everyone looks good on that. Kathy, excellent. Kathy's a natural. I think yoga is important because with 20 years of sobriety, I focus on a higher power and I find strengths um, in different places. And I think it's wonderful. Forward bend. We've got a lot of work to do this season with these contestants. They're going to be here for a very long time. And I really do think yoga is the fountain of youth. It is a physical activity and it is a mental activity. And in this house, more than any other house I've ever been to, you need both of those in line. And that's what yoga does. Take a deep breath, inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Reach up. Exhale prayer. Release, you're done. Let's go inside. Okay, punch it in. 10 minutes, Laura to the floor. So, I'm gonna be mean to you. Just so you know. You're gonna be mean. Very. Okay. Laura is not exactly the most motivated in the house. She definitely does not work to her potential, and she just needs so much work. Jumping lunges. I'm always a little bit nervous on what she's gonna do with me, you know? Every week it gets harder and harder and harder, and I'm just praying that I'm gonna be able to show her how strong I've gotten this week. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna do 10 pounds. Really? I'm on floor 12. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> Two more. Laura, like, she's got, she's got the platitudes going, you know what I mean? She's like, I want to be healthy, I'm going to do it. Like, she says all the right things, but there's no intensity behind her actions. And it's just, it's frustrating. Let's go. Keep your left up. That left hand up. Keep your left hand up. Left hand up. <laughs> Where's your left hand? Tara, come here. We're going to play a little game. Every single time she throws that jab and her left hand doesn't come back to her face down the left side of her, smack her in the face. Okay. <laughs> right here. Don't smack me for nothing. Smack her in the face. Her. She'll smack me. You'll even see if I it. Do the it. minute the left hand comes down here, smack her in the face. I am thinking, oh, <laughs> Tara will slap me if I don't do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> jab. Jab. Amazing how the form changes, isn't it? Jab cross. She was not really hit her. Yeah, good. Jab cross. She's keeping her hands up. Jab cross. Turn your back foot. Jab cross. Oh, it's incredible how suddenly she's Muhammad Ali. Everything is like half-assed and phoned in and like messed up and then it's like hee hee funny and it's just, it's exhausting. It's just, it's not good. It's not good, man. It's not, it's not fair to Tara. I think today is gonna be a good day to leave the ranch. We're gonna go to Subway for lunch. Yeah. yeah! All right. All right, good. Make sure your waters are filled up because we're not gonna take a car. We're going for a hike. We're done. When Bob told us that we had to walk to Subway, we were all just like, what? Yeah. How far is Subway? <laughs> you know, we're at this ranch in the middle of the mountains. I've never seen a Subway around here. Just so you know, we're gonna run for a while. Why down so much worse? Oh, because it puts all the pressure right on your kneecaps. Going up, you can rely on your hamstrings, rely yeah. on the back of the legs. This is all the front of the legs. When it comes to Ron and his knee injury, Ron is doing the best that he can. As much as I want his best to be good enough, it has sent the Brown team below the yellow line two weeks in a row. If I can get Ron's teammate to start picking up the slack for Ron, then they're gonna be above the yellow line. We made it to Subway. <laughs> All right. Woo! We got to Subway, and I was like, yes, I get to eat. Because <laughs> we were all hungry. All right, guys, what I want you guys to do, grab a snack. Grab, like, some apples. If you want some milk, fill up your Nalgene bottles, because we're not eating here. What? We have another Subway we're going to about two miles down the road. Oh, oh, come on, man. 
he's like, you know what, guys? Why don't you just uh, grab a little snack and fill up your waters, because we're actually going to hike two more miles to another subway. Don't even think about getting those cookies. I was like, are you crazy, Bob Harper? <laughs> he is crazy. So we did two more miles. We made it to Subway. Great. I want you to look at the fresh pit meals, because that's what we're going to be going for. And look, Subway puts all the nutrition facts right at the front. So now you can read how many calories you're having, as opposed to just guessing. With the fresh fit meal, you're going to have around 500, 550 calories, six grams of fat or less. Mikey is a big milk fan, right? If he was normally going to a fast food restaurant and getting his burger fries and a shake, that's over 1,200 calories. The best thing about Subway is he can get a six-inch sub, his milk, and he can get fruit. All that. 550 calories. You do the math. I'm looking at Ron. One thing that he's missing, he's got no complex carbohydrates. Ron still has that kind of fear of eating carbs. And it's like, you can't have a fear of eating carbs. That's why, like, the, with the Fresh Fit meals, they have all those sandwiches you can choose from, which is going to give you a good balance of your proteins that you need to have and your carbohydrates that you need to have. You know yeah. what I learned? What? You can burn the calories before by walking here and not driving. <laughs> you know what I love? We walked here, what, five miles, and it's going to be another five-mile walk back. Yeah. That means and that's why you needed to have those carbohydrates. <laughs> that means we can get another subway to go, right? Good evening, everyone. As Laura and I walked out for the challenge, we see these huge bars and Allison just standing there. And I'm thinking in my head, God, I hope this is not an endurance thing again. Your partner depends on you 100%. They can only succeed if you succeed. Because everything you do in this competition affects them. And that's definitely true in tonight's challenge. Here's how tonight's challenge is going to work. You each hold either end of a bar. You hold it above your heads for as long as you can. If you lower it too far, a red light will come on and you're out. The last team remaining wins. Simple, right? Whichever team stands there the longest holding it wins. That's it. Seems simple enough. The team that holds out the longest will win the most important prize you can win here on campus. Immunity at this week's weigh-in. Immunity is the best thing to have in this house. It's the only thing worth fighting for. If immunity's up for grabs, you got to have it, no matter what it takes. When I count down, you will all lift your bar into the air, and this game has started. Three, two, one, start. This game is on. Tara and I knew that we both had to get this, and now it's my time to like prove to Tara that like we can win immunity when I'm here, too. And you'll do it. I know. When Allison said go, we knew instantly we got this. It felt good. We could be here all night. You've been at this for seven minutes. Immunity is at stake. Switch back and forth as often as you have to. I definitely know for a fact the second Blaine and I go onto the yellow line that we're going to go home. Right now, immunity for us would be huge. I mean, your hand closer to your body. We had our strategy, and that's just to release the other person when they need the break. One goes up, one goes down. We've been at this for 10 minutes. 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Immunity is at stake. You can guarantee your team another week on campus. 40 minutes. This is a game of mental toughness. Focusing on the prize. This challenge is definitely based upon the ability to concentrate and that's not one of our strong points. <laughs> you now have 30 seconds to make a very difficult decision. 
choose one arm to hold up that bar. No more switching. Which one do I use? Of my right. Starting now. I gotta do it with this hand. I gotta do it with this one. It's gonna kill us. It was pretty brutal. Not only do you have to endure the pain of your shoulder, your hand, you also had to deal with that cold weather. It was pretty brutal. You have to stay focused. One little distraction can make the difference. As we were doing, I was looking at Allison giving us more instructions, and I think Felipe was looking at Allison as well. And with that, the blue team is out. All of a sudden, that bar just dropped. Right then and there, we lost our focus, and the red light came on and we were out. I could not believe that we were the first ones out of that game. It's as easy as that. Lose focus for one second, and you are out of this game. I was really surprised to see them go out so early. Right then and there, you realize this is all about focus. It's not about strength. An hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 45 minutes. It's cold. I'm getting colder by the minute. The brown team is out. Every time one person went out, there's a sigh of relief. OK, we've got this. We've got to win this. Put my thumb in my mouth because it's like frozen. I need to thaw it out. I couldn't feel it anymore. It was pretty painful. That was definitely the hardest part, is just enduring the cold weather. The black team is out. I don't even know what happened. Just all of a sudden, it was like, dink. And I was like, oh, crap, it touched. All three male teams are out of this competition. It is down to the ladies. We see who's strong, <laughs> and it's the girls. Clearly, the girls are strong here. Pink, green, purple, and yellow, all competing. We need immunity. We're holding that bar over our heads till our arms come off our shoulders. Definitely. From now on, you will be keeping both hands on the bar. We are at two hours. This is absolutely insane. Careful, be careful, be careful. Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> the pink team is out. Four teams down, three left to go. We are at three hours. Immunity is at stake. is out. We are down to two teams. Familiar, Kristen? <laughs> Sorry to tell you, this one's going to end way different. It's all right, Pumpkin. This isn't the first time Tara and I went head-to-head -to -head in a challenge. And I'm like, there is no way I'm letting this challenge end the same way the jumping challenge went. And that's it. Tara wins immunity again. We need immunity. We want immunity. I'm not letting Green get this. Dude, I can't feel my hand. It felt like our fingers had frostbite because they were literally numb. Why don't you both just stop? Kristen, do you think we would go and let you win now? Come on, Tara. Come on. Immunity for us is huge. I've been pulling huge numbers every single week, and Laura pulled a huge number last week. So it's a matter of, are we going to hit that wall? Is it going to happen to us? How do I make sure it doesn't happen? We need to have immunity. Three hours and 20 minutes. We have this. We have this. Tara and Laura were squirming. They're just getting beat down, and it made me feel stronger. We are at three and a half hours. We got this, Laura. Kristen has so much heart and so much determination, it's scary. She's like me. I love her for it, but I also hate her for it. It is now midnight. Oh my god. 38 degrees. And it's been four hours. This has become a very silent game. It just kills your whole body because you're just standing there. So just picture just standing for four hours. 
That's yeah. painful. Now raise your arms and do that for four hours. See how that feels. Go ahead, try it. Really, it's painful. We have this. We have it. Laura, there's no pain in your body. There's no. nothing. I was just thinking, we have to win, we have to win, we have to win. Like, no way we can give it to them. I was ready to go until the sun came up. It did not matter what happened. I was really in the zone, and I wasn't going to let anything stand in my way. Four hours and 35 minutes. Community is at stake. You guys want to make a wager? What would that be? Well, if you guys fall below, we won't vote you off. We have to win immunity because if we go below, we're definitely off. Just give us immunity and we won't vote for you. Like, whatever. No way. That's one vote right there. When they are trying to cut a deal, I'm like, they must be getting sore and tired because if they're trying to get out of this, they want to get out of here quick. This is a game, and you cannot jeopardize your spot here on the ranch based on the word of a competitor. My back was hurting me so much. My arms were killing me. I really felt like I was, like, dying. Wow. Yeah. My arms were killing me. And green is out. Purple team, congratulations. You have won immunity after four hours and 40 minutes. We just won immunity. Um, I was just devastated because I was like, I let Tara down. I have been standing here for four hours and 40 minutes killing myself because I want this so bad. It's hard. It's just like you want something so much and then you don't reach it. It's, it's upsetting. <laughs> The first day here on The Biggest Loser Ranch, and everybody picked teams, and nobody wanted to pick us. And, you know, I hope that these challenges show us how strong we are and that we're here to stay. I knew you guys could do it. I knew it. I haven't seen my husband in six weeks. This is probably the longest we've ever been apart in 10 years. So when I'm walking into my room, I'm super excited, super nervous at the same time, not knowing like how his reaction's gonna be. I saw Rusty and I was so excited. He just gave me the hugest hug in the world and it was just like a dream come true seeing him again. <laughs> I miss you too, baby. I wouldn't say that you'd want to be apart from someone to see how much you love somebody, but I mean, it definitely uh, does make you appreciate them and realize what you have. You doing okay? Your face looks so much different. <laughs> it's gonna hear, I hope. Oh, yes. <laughs> I lost um, 45 pounds. Oh. <laughs> it was a rush of adrenaline seeing my husband, but I wish I could see my boys. I know my husband does a great job, but it's hard. You know, okay? And then there was a knock at the door, so I walk over and I open it. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> and it's my boys. It's just so amazing that they're here. I never in my life would have expected them to come. I'm just so glad that I get to share all of this with them. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting so big. So surreal to be able to hug all of them and just look, I could stare at each one of their faces for 10 minutes. Were you surprised? I was totally surprised. <laughs> Does dad snuggle as good as me? Almost. Almost. <laughs> 
I'm so scared that this time is going to fly by so fast that I'm not going to have a chance to really enjoy them. So just being able to hold them and hug them every second is going to be awesome. I love you too. I love you Only 13% of kids today walk to school. Here's a simple tip from Prevention Magazine to change just that. Start a walking school bus, where you pick up and drop off your kids and their classmates on a designated route. Not only will it help your kids stay fit, but a 30-minute walk twice a day can help you burn up to 1,000 calories a week. That's about 10 pounds in just a single school year. And learning healthy habits early will last your kids a lifetime. In the first hour of The Biggest Loser, Mandy shared an emotional reunion with her family. And after a four hour and 40 minute endurance challenge. You guys want to make a wager? <laughs> Whatever, no way. Purple team won immunity. Congratulations. Coming up, Mike breaks down as he struggles to keep his father in the game. Are you able to handle this responsibility? But will it be enough to save them? Your current weight is. What's your name? Dawson. 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 Remington. Remington. Dawson. Rusty. Oh, yeah. What do you want for breakfast? Ice cream. Ice yeah, cream. so do we. My four-year-old told me he wanted ice cream for breakfast, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have a lot to learn. So I decided I was going to make them a healthy breakfast. I made them some scrambled eggs and some turkey bacon. And Helen made them a strawberry milkshake, the really low-fat way, and they loved it. You just ate a total organic breakfast, and you probably didn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to give uh, my husband a little taste of what I go through in a day and see if he could handle it. Run! Hurry, Dawson! Come on! Seven. Let's get a eight. <laughs> nine. One more. Ten. Good job. I wanted him to experience like how tough it is, and he agreed it was super hard. You know, I'm really proud of my <laughs> wife. She stuck to her guns, said she really wanted to go and needed to go, and we'll be rooting her on and hope she uh, goes as far as she can. This is what mommy usually does. This is a level six, and I do it for about a half hour. Could you do this for a half hour? I could do it for an hour. An hour? <laughs> it was so cute to see them do everything that I do with such excitement and passion, and they really wanted to understand what I go through. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I definitely am ready to prove Jillian wrong, and I want to show my team this whole visit is not going to bring me down, that it's going to boost me forward and make me feel so much more confident and do excellent at this weigh-in. Let's go walk the mile. Why is it called the mile? Because it's, because a, it's mile. a mile. <laughs> it's a long way. I am so excited to tell Bob about the challenge last night. Those green girls are hard to beat, Bob. Please say you beat them. Just so tell me you beat them. We beat them. We got <laughs> it felt so good to tell Bob that we beat the green team and won immunity in last night's challenge. Kathy and Kristen got immunity, and I was ecstatic. You just wanted to win. Yeah. You wanted to win immunity, wanted right? I wanted to win immunity, and I wanted to beat green. <laughs> Kristen deserved it more than anybody because it was down to her and the green team again. And I know Kristen. She was like, you beat me once, green team. You're not going to do it again. You know what? You guys ride with me. <laughs> Come on. Get out. So, at that point, I was like this. We're going to go work out, but purple team, you've got immunity. Get in the car with me. And we're going to go for a little ride and let them burn off some more calories. This is the best immunity <laughs> ever. Yeah. You guys run to the gym. <laughs> Last chance workout, you guys. Let's go. We are. I am going to have a huge milestone this week, and I plan to be under the 300-pound mark, which is something I haven't done in at least eight-plus years. This brown team is not going to be below the yellow line. Two weeks in a row, you guys were below the yellow line. 
Enough. You've worked way too hard this week. The Brown team has got to have a good week. I'm serious when I say that if they're below that yellow line, I will have met the team that I couldn't have helped. Three of you off. You know exactly what you need to do. And that's going to make me crazy. Last chance workout. 20 of these on each leg. Almost immediately, Bob singles me, Felipe, and Mike out. We were just like, you know, last chance workout's going to be tough. Think about that weigh-in. Think about getting up on that scale. <sighs> Mikey, you okay? Ron, your son's growing up in this house, you know that? He has. I'm proud of him. He's doing great. You know, as a dad, you just wanted to go up there and run up and help. But as a teammate, I'm so proud of Michael. He pushes through the pain. And, you know, when he's hurting like that, you just had to sit there and watch and go through the pain with him. Good, Mikey. Boy. <laughs> Someone deserves that scale to be nice to them tomorrow to you, isn't it? We'll see. I'm not going to fall below the old line again. And I want my dad to stay here, and I want to stay here. Let me tell you, it's going to be a lot of work to get those double digits, Mikey. Do you know that? That's why I was first in the gym this morning. Good. And you're going to be the last one out of the gym tonight when you go to bed, OK? <laughs> no matter what happens, no matter what you put your body through, you just keep going, don't you? Mikey now is feeling this pressure because he knows how badly him and his dad need to be in this house. Mikey, come over here now. This last chance workout, Mikey was crying because the reality of his father is setting in more than ever. We got to get through this day. You know why we got to get through this day? Because your dad needs you. This is his last ditch effort. I mean, what is there left for him to do if he's not able to stay in this house, Mikey? If Ron wasn't in this house right now, he could be on a road to death. Are you able to handle this responsibility? Yeah. And talking to Mike about that, that's such a huge wake-up call. Mikey loves his father, loves him. Right now, you still have all the power to either stay here or to go home. Brown team can't be below the yellow line again. Because if you're below the yellow line, third time, you're gone. You're the guy that came up to me from the very beginning. I want to win this. I want to win this. Well, you know what? This is where you win it. You win it in this gym. Do you hear me? This is life and death right now. There's a force out there that wants them to stay in this house. But it's like the third time. Is the third time going to be the charm, or is it three strikes and you're out? Last chance workout. OK, guys. Everybody has a mile to run. One mile, 6.0. Everyone knows what last chance for God is. It's beatings. It's just bloody, brutal, crappy, miserable, exhausting beatings that last all day and all night. <laughs> come on, come on, head up, head up, head up, head up. Go. I need three more. Here we go. Head up, go. Three. This is go. my most stressful week. I'm so scared. For the past few weeks, I've been on a good path. I'm upset that we don't have immunity because every single week I'm dropping 12 pounds and 11 pounds and 10 pounds. I'm giving everything I have. I just don't know if my body is going to react the same way. For the first time in weeks, I just feel like I can't do it. Eight. Nine. It's tough. It's so competitive in the house. Everybody has such big numbers every week. There's just no room for even kind of a bad week. I mean, there's just there's no room for it. Last chance workout. Come on. Come on! Come on! Don't quit! I am killing these people because we have no votes. We're totally outnumbered, so nobody can fall below the line. It's almost like you're chasing your tail, and I'm having to just beat huge numbers out of them, and at some point, someone's going to have a goose egg on that scale. Down. It's your last chance, Aubrey. Let's go. Come on, up! Seeing Maddie's husband, Rusty, and the kids here makes it really hard to focus. I'm really distracted, and I feel weak. I don't feel like I can give 100% right now. I couldn't help but think about my husband and my kids, and I worry about them. What are you going to do, Mama? Keep those feet flat and push! 
what are you gonna do? She just kept saying, what are you gonna do, Aubrey? What are you gonna do? And it just, uh, it broke me. <laughs> all the emotion, all the worry, all the concern that I have for my children and my husband back home just kind of came to a head and I couldn't hold it in anymore. <laughs> it's frustrating. <laughs> not having any control over what happens at home. <laughs> like, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know if my kids are okay. I miss my family so much. I wake up every single morning saying, am I gonna be strong enough to make it through another day here? Or am I gonna ask someone to take me home? Number one, your health must come first. If it doesn't, not only do you set horrible examples for your children, they will grow up and follow in your footsteps. They will grow up and think if they do anything for themselves, it's bad. Because that's what you teach them. Do you want them to grow up and feel like this? Do you? Then show them something different. I'm worried and it's just, it's going on and on and on and on. And there's drama and contestants are weak and they're tired and they're breaking down physically and emotionally. It's just exhausting. Just miserable, all of them. And so am I. I get it. it. Sucks. You are gonna get it. No. Uh. Uh. This is what I want them to hear. I know, but listen. They they're leaving in one hour. I barely got to see. Babe, you're gonna see. You. This is exactly why I didn't want them here. No, I will be fine. I will work out till midnight. I mean, work my ass off, but just let me spend the last hour with them. Go be with them, but this is it. This is what happens when we have a freaking weigh-in tomorrow. I know you have kids. I know I sound like a monster to you right now, but the, the problem is I'm trying to keep you here to give your kids 20 more years. All right, go. Thank you. I was already pretty concerned that the husband is gonna be a distraction and you know now it's becoming an issue. Why can't anything ever just go smoothly? This is exactly what I'm talking about. We have a weigh-in tomorrow. She's been with the family all day long. Hasn't worked out at all. You know it, and I know it. I love you guys. <laughs> I know it's hard to say goodbye, but... <laughs> what, next time you see me, I'm not... It's not gonna be this long, okay? It's really tough to support her, just seeing how much we need her back at home. But I know without her knowing that she has my support, she'll just fall apart here. I can't stand the thought of her being clear down here and not knowing that I'm backing her up, and so I have to support her. I'm not a quitter, and it's hard and it sucks right now, but hey, I'm really doing this for all of us. Just remember, I love you. Saying goodbye is probably the hardest thing that I have done in a long time because I saw a side of my husband that I haven't really seen before. He's a lot more vulnerable than I thought he was. I'll be waiting for you, okay? <laughs> Almost every bone in my body screaming to tell her to freaking jump in the van and let's go home. But if this is something she really needs to do, then you know, this is the right decision for her. Bye. Coming up at the weigh-in. Will the distraction of Mandy's family visit prove to be a disadvantage on the scale? And does the youngest contestant in Biggest Loser history have what it takes to keep his father on the ranch? If they fall below the yellow line, then I have failed.
Walking into the weigh-in, I feel that I've done absolutely everything that I could this week. Bob had me eating more carbs so my body could keep up with the workout. And it better work. It's scary because I don't know how Laura's going to do. And we didn't get immunity. I hope that my body allows me to keep on pulling double digits. All season long, we have talked about how important your partner is to your success. Because while only one person will win the quarter of a million dollar grand prize and the title of the biggest loser, you're going to need your partner's help to do it. And tonight is definitely no exception. Purple team, congratulations on winning immunity at the challenge. Because right now, you are the only team that is guaranteed to stay intact tonight. Only one team is going to fall below the yellow line tonight. And everyone else will be voting to send home one member of that team. We will weigh in each team, and it is your combined percentage of weight loss that will determine which teams are guaranteed to stay on campus together for one more week, and which team will fall below the yellow line and lose one of its members for good. We're going to weigh the purple team in first. Ladies, come on up. Kristen, what is that emotion about? I'm just nervous. It has been over eight years since I've been over 300 pounds. So to be in the 200s is just like unbelievable. So I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. Purple team, you won immunity. You are safe from elimination this week. Guaranteed another week on campus. Kristen, you're looking for a milestone here. Ladies, your current weight is. Gained two pounds. Bump? Shocking. I kept looking at that number going, two what? What's it going to be? Two what? When I saw Kristen gain weight this week, it really was a lesson of how important immunity is. Kristen? I'm not going to get discouraged. I'm not going to let this stand in my way, and I'm just going to expect great things next week. We are going to start again for the real weigh-in. Pink team, we're going to start with you. I heard a little discussion as you were coming up the stairs. You come up here, you want to lose weight. You've worked hard all week, but you don't know. It's scary getting up here, especially when you see, you know, she works so hard. We were right with her the whole time. Our bodies could just say, you know, no. Well, let's see what your body said. Your current weight is. <laughs> you lost the exact same amount of weight last week, yeah. too, didn't you? We both lost nine last week. Yeah. I just hope that this is good enough to keep us here. Ladies, congratulations. Yeah. Pink team, you lost 10 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.16%. You're off to a good start, but let's see what the competition offers. Green team, you're up next. All week long, I've been questioning if Laura has been doing enough. 
If I pull another 12 pounds and she pulls a three, then I'm carrying the team. Green team, for you to beat the pink team, I guarantee your safety right now, you need to have lost more than 10 pounds as a team. Your current weight is. Green team, in order for you to beat the pink team, I guarantee your safety right now, you need to have lost more than 10 pounds as a team. Your current weight is. Congratulations, baby. You're a machine. She passed the two thirties. Tara, in six short weeks, you've lost 65 pounds. I see an 11 pop up. I'm speechless. I'm just, I can't. I don't think I've ever seen you speechless before. I know, I'm just like. I couldn't believe that I completely passed the 230s. I'm just gonna start eating and doing exactly what she does. She's my shadow. Yeah, I'm just her shadow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I'm not going home. <laughs> Green team, you lost 14 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.85%. Blue team, in order to beat the pink team, guarantee your safety here for one more week, you need to have lost more than 13 pounds. Walking up to the scale, I'm just thinking, I've never been on the ranch without Felipe, and if they split us up, it would be devastating. Your current weight is. I finally broke the 300 mark. It feels great. I finally crossed that milestone, and now, Next goal is 250. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you. Blue team, you lost 21 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.37%. That is good enough. Take first place. You are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations, blue team. Black team, you have lost 140 pounds in this competition so far. In order to keep yourself safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than 13 pounds. We just see our names dropping, and then they dropped again. Come on up on the scale, let's see how you did. And when the black team stepped up, I thought, here we go again. We're gonna be below the yellow line. Dane, your previous weight was 334 pounds. Blaine, your previous weight was 303 pounds. Your current weight is. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, to be that, that much weight, that's great. I, you know. Not a good week, though, for us, so. Blaine loses four and Dane loses five, and I was just like, this is such bad timing. All the weeks, you know, to take the hit, this is a bad week for it to happen. Black team, you lost nine pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.41%. Black team, I'm sorry to say that that's not enough to guarantee your safety here for one more week. Pink team, with one team below you, you are definitely safe from elimination. Congratulations. We're safe. We are safe for another week. That's all we wanted. Yellow team, in order to beat the black team and stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than six pounds. 
It's your turn to get on the scale. I am nervous as hell. It was definitely hard for me to find time to work out with my husband being here and my boys. And not winning immunity at the challenge is definitely hard to deal with when you know that this week you really could have used it. Aubrey, your previous weight was 224 pounds. Mandy, your previous weight was 221 pounds. Your current weight is. Mandy missed workouts. Aubrey was crying because Mandy's family was here. And and if they fall below one, I'm going to kill them. I've been like kind of close. <laughs> There's no place to be happy here. Like, great, I lost six pounds, but at the same time, one of my team members could be going home. I mean, it sucks. I thought I did a good job this week. I really did. I felt really good. And it's frustrating to see a pound. One pound. Like, that barely got us safe. Thank you. Thanks. If I wouldn't have sweated one more ounce, you know, we could have been below the yellow line. The yellow team lost seven pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.57%. It is enough to guarantee the yellow team safety. Black team. I'm sorry to tell you that you are still in danger of falling below the yellow line. But we have one team left to weigh in. Brown team. In order to beat the black team and avoid falling below the yellow line for the third week in a row. You need to have lost more than nine pounds. Gentlemen, let's see how you did. I have done everything for the Brown team this week, and my reputation is on the line. If they fall below the yellow line, then I have failed. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. Your current weight is. Brown team, in order to beat the black team, you need to have lost to more than nine pounds. Your current weight is. Every season, there are contestants that think that they can lose more weight by not eating their calories, and it never works. Mikey, listen to me, and it paid off. See what happens when you listen to me, America? Just a big sigh of relief, or are you happy too? You know, we worked hard this week, and I mean, I'm upset that, you know, my dad worked as hard as he did, and he only lost five pounds, but you know, I'm happy with my number, and it's unfortunate then the black team has to be below the all lines. Brown team, congratulations. Good work. Brown team, you lost 18 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.59%. Congratulations. You are definitely safe from elimination this week. Black team, I'm sorry to tell you both that you have fallen below the yellow line tonight. The rest of the teams have a very difficult decision ahead of them. One of you will be leaving tonight. Bob, Jill, it's time for you to say goodnight to your teams. The hardest thing would be 
to leave Dane. We do better because we're together. We've had that advantage, and that's why we've lost so much weight. If I stay or if he goes or vice versa, you know, the hardest thing would be leaving him. I almost wish we were both going home. I hope you guys will re respect what I want. Please send me home, OK? Please. That's what's best for us. I've done better than I thought I would. You know, I've lost a lot of weight. I, I only have like 50 more pounds I can lose. I also have a three-week year old at home. You know, I want to see. I want to be here. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, but I can do it at home. I've learned what I had to learn here and what's my Okay? Please. Please. So, you guys do the right thing. If you could just give us a few minutes to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we love you. I love you guys. <laughs> I know that I'm going to have to go on without one of them. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go down. Either way, it sucks. This is when the game starts, if you want it to. You either decide that you guys are ready to play the game and, of course, send Dane home, or you follow your hearts and do what you think is right. I know that Blaine wants to go home. He wants to see his baby. But if I look at it as who should stay here and lose the weight, and who do I really think can do it at home? I think Dane could do it at home, and I don't think Blaine can. You know, remember how you guys looked at it like Damien's the one that pushes you? Dane's the one that pushes, pushes us. us. But you sent Damien yeah, home. You sent Damien home. I know. You know, we begged you and told you how we felt about Joelle and Damien, and you guys didn't listen. Who are we to say who should stay and who should go? Who are we to say? No. They're the ones that made the decision between their own team. Dane wants to be here. Blaine wants to go home. If you want to play the game, play the game. If you don't, don't, or whatever. Do not tell me that you're not playing a game. Because everybody in this house is playing. Cut the <laughs> Let's get to the vote. We're all playing the game. All bull aside, either you do, you know you send Dane home because he's a bigger threat and it's a gameplay move, and Blaine stays here, or vice versa. Next week we're going to be in the same exact. Guys, it situation. doesn't make a difference. Haven't you seen for the entire time, Kristen? We've been we've been at a disadvantage, all of us. You guys expect us always to make the decisions with the heart, and then the moment it's our turn, it's gameplay. Because I can't trust the fact that it's going to be made the same way. If I did not have immunity right now, my ass would be gone. And I guarantee you that you really I would, think that Christian, I you really, really think that. I would want to take I you really and, uh, and stop you from having a baby. I would you really, beg and I would plead and I would tell you. You really all think that? See, you don't think, think you, you don't think I have a heart or or we have a heart? No, we know you all do, but it. You know, ultimately, 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 who? It's our game. It's not theirs. Then why did Joelle stay here and why did Damien go home? The elimination with Damien will forever be in the back of my mind. Jillian's team sent Damien home and kept Joelle here. That was a gameplay move. They sent the stronger person home. They kept the weaker person here, even though that person expressed the desire not to be here. It showed a lot about the character of Jillian's team. How do we trust we make this decision from the heart because that's what Blaine wants. He wants Dane to stay here, and then the next week it backfires on us. And that's why I'm so conflicted. Maybe I didn't hear from Dane from his heart right now, but I've heard from him too, that he really misses his family. So what, what do I do? So Dane misses his family, Blaine misses his family. What do we do? You know, if we go one way in your opinion, we're game players. If we go one way in the other, we're not. I mean... But Dane also told me, I don't want to go home until I'm done. Well, then why don't we all go home and then he can stay until he's done? I mean... Blaine wants to go home, Dane wants to stay. Done. Like, I don't understand what the debate is about. We didn't come to a decision. 
So I told Felipe, whatever name you write down, I'll back you up 100%. Coming up, the Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. So Blaine and Dane fell below the yellow line, and the rest of you had what I can only imagine is a very difficult decision. I saw Tara, how affected you were by seeing the black team fall below the yellow line. I feel like I'm gonna be lost, so lost, without them both here. It's just gonna be really difficult the next week. It's time to hear everyone's decisions tonight. Pink team, we're gonna start with you. Well, it doesn't get any easier, and this week it's even harder because we have to choose one of you. And we took into consideration a lot what you said, but I also remember when Shannon and I had to split up, and we had to be faced with the decision on sending somebody home, who could actually do it at home and who could do it here. So with that in mind, what we decided was to send Dane home. Dane, that's one vote for you. Ron. I agree with everything that Helen said, but when Blaine asked to go home, uh, I had to put myself in their shoes, and I would find myself uh, going against what I would wish people would do for us if I didn't vote the way we did, and the Brown team votes to send Blaine home. Blaine, Dane, you each have one vote. It'll take four votes to send one of you home. Tara. From the first day, both of these guys, like, pushed me and made sure that, you know, I was doing what I need to do. And just this morning, I woke up at 5.30 and went to go see how they were in the gym because I knew they were there the entire night. And they were struggling. And it breaks my heart to see that the two guys that I need here the most to push me are in this circumstance. I'm gonna miss you so much, but the green team voted for Blaine. I miss you too. You really don't know me, you, you like, just touched my heart. <laughs> and I really feel that I'm gonna be able to stand on my own feet when I go back home because of what you taught me. I'm a better person for knowing you care too. We all are. <laughs> Blaine, that's two votes for you. If you receive two more, you will be eliminated. Okay, blue team. This by far was uh, the hardest decision we've ever made. In making this decision, I thought about to myself, if I had a son home, I was barely born, and I pleaded with somebody so that I could see them. I'd hope that they would respect my decision. So we voted for Blaine to go. Okay, Blaine, that's three votes. If you receive one more vote, you're going home. Kathy, Kristen. For the purple team, that this was a very hard decision. And if it wasn't for immunity, it would have been me and Kristen tonight sitting here. So it was very emotional. If it was me tonight, I would be pleading for me to go home so she could stay because she's here for her individual reason because she wants to have a baby. And so I respect him so much for that and I know he's worked very hard and I hope that someday someone will respect my decision if it's me that has to go home. So tonight, Purple Team voted for playing. Blaine, 
Lane, that's four votes. We don't need to hear from the yellow team. Sounds like you got what you wanted. You know, I'm, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I will cherish every moment that I had here with these people for the rest of my life. And I'm better and will be better throughout my life because of just the few weeks that I've spent here. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it is time for you to go. I got here on campus, I weighed 365 pounds. Now, I weigh 299 pounds. I'm under 300 pounds. I never thought I'd be there in six weeks. I'm stronger, I'm healthier. You know, I'm not on eight medications going home. And I get to go be with my family. I'm gonna be a much better husband and father. And uh, I look forward to showing them that. America, next time you see me, I'll be healthier and a lot sexier, so. We'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Before Blaine went on The Biggest Loser, he was pretty unhappy and sick and tired a lot. So it, it was hard on our family. My dad, he was like a lot slower when we went on walks. Like every half mile, he would get really exhausted, like he was about to burst. And now he's just like able to do almost about anything. Black team on three. Ready? One, two, three. Black team! It's great because it's like having my best friend back who's just young and energetic and it's awesome. <laughs> my weight never really got in the way of my life. It just got in my way. It stopped me from being confident. The biggest thing I learned while I was on the Biggest Loser campus was that I can reach down inside me and make me do things that are difficult. And so, you know, my goal has turned into an Iron Man. I want to do an Iron Man before I go back for the finale. To get ready for the Iron Man, I have a very strict schedule. I have to get up early, ride my bike to the gym. It's over a mile and a half of swimming, 80 miles biking, and a half marathon after that. It's quite the feat, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing it.